Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and welcome to the Create, Craft, Share YouTube Blog Hop. I am so excited to be part of this for the second month in a row and this month I am loving the theme and this is why. If you watch my YouTube, you know that this month I have been making one tag every month with my word of the year and my word of the year for this year has been calm. In a hectic, busy life, I think we need more calm and quietness and so that has been my word that I've tried to focus on this year. So um, I am going to make my tag for the month of May with the word calm and I'm going to be doing some really fun techniques. To start with I have this tag and these are tags that I've cut out of watercolor paper. This is Strathmore watercolor paper and it's cold press and it's 90 pounds and I've used the Cricut Art Philosophy cut cartridge and I've cut it at, at six and a quarter inches. This is tag number three. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I have this close to my heart stamp set and this is called the Hopscotch Alphabet. And I have already mounted it on my acrylic block. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to stamp that and emboss it with white embossing powder using Versamark ink. So when you come when we come back, I will tell you I that will be done and we'll go on from there. Okay, so I am back and I have got all my tags embossed and ready to go. And now we're going to move on to the next step and that's the watercoloring. You can probably see that little sneaky peek of one up there, but just ignore that because we've got to do this one first. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do now that it's all embossed, and I've already mixed my paint colors together, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big broad brush and I am just going to get the whole tag wet with clean water. Um, I'm going to tell you, the, I'm a little discouraged with these brushes. Um, these are not the cheapest brushes. They're not super expensive either, but I didn't, you know, go to the dollar store and pick up brushes. Um, but what what's frustrating me with it, and you can probably see in the tag, is all the um, bristles that are coming out. And it seems like every time I paint, I almost have to go through, like with a paper towel, wipe off the bristles, hope, hopefully not getting it too dry, and then put a little bit more water on it. Um, and I don't know why these bristles are, so, or these brushes are so bristly, why the bristles come out so much. I keep thinking they'll quit soon. Um, if they don't quit soon, they're all going to fall out, so I don't know what's going on. But you'll notice the tag really curls up when I'm putting the water in it, but I want quite a bit of water because I want, I'm going to be spreading um, all the paint on it. And what I'm trying to do here is I want to make kind of an ombre effect. We'll see how well it works. So I'm going to pick up some clean water and the paints that I'm using is, this is a one of the sets that, I mean it came in this um, packet and I picked it up at um, Hobby Lobby I believe. And um, each one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different little circles and then they screw together. So what I've done is I've taken this darkest green and I think I took, I think it was this green, and I mixed them together and I've got that on the side here um, and I'm going to put that across the bottom and that's going to be the first layer of kind of my ombre. Now I'm going to it's really super wet, so I'm going to have to, probably wetter than it should have been. So the paint, I may even have to go back over this one twice. We'll just see how it turns out. Um, because I'm just creating a background, so if it's light, I'm going to be okay with that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get some clean water, and I'm going to go into my first color, which, let's see, I think it, oh, I should have written these down. I think this is the color I want to go into, no. Sorry about that, guys. This is the color I want to go into next. And we're going to come up the tag. So you see, it kind of, it blends, the water blends it for me. Um, but the, um, I've got the different colors. Now, next to this, I have a different color mixed up here. 
I did all the mixing off camera just because it's a little bit boring to see that. And so then I'm applying my second color. Then I'm going to go back in with my third color. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more water. And I'm going to pick up some water here. Of course, the wetter your brush is, the more... Um, or the more water you use, the lighter your colors are going to be. The drier your brush, the more intense your color is going to be. Um, but this one, I'm just doing a background wash. That's all I'm doing. So then in the center of this paint palette here, I've combined the green and the yellow. And that's going to be my next wash. Just like that. Then I'm going to clean off my brush because I don't want to ruin my yellow. And then I'm going to go into my yellow. And that's going to be my final little area. So it kind of creates an ombre effect. Kind of. I know it's not perfect. I'm going to go back here and add some paint down here, which there's a bristle. And you kind of see it pulling away from that embossed. And the boss has created a resist. So I am just going to use the tip of my brush here and slide this off. And in this particular instance, I don't care if the back is getting all messed up because I am going to cover the back with paper anyway. I want a heavier tag than what just the watercolor paper is going to make. So, and I haven't colored, covered that with paper yet. But I wanted to clean this off a little bit and show you the other two that I did um, while I was off camera because I only did one on camera. So this is the next one and I have to say this one I really, really like. Um, one thing that I don't love about this one, and I'm going to see if I can correct it right now, is this kind of rough edge here. So I'm just going to go back with my brush and add a little bit more water and kind of let that pool off. And I can kind of let it drip down and pool. And I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about it because I've also on one of these sides, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of layering. But I see there's kind of a mess up right there. So just add a little bit of water, let it pool. And that's just kind of the beauty of watercolor. Now you'll notice that these tags are kind of warped. Watercoloring does warp tags. So don't worry about that. Um, when I add my background paper, that will help um, kind of flatten it out. And if I was going to do um, if I wasn't going to add background paper, I could maybe put it under books or something and that might help. But quite frankly, this particular watercolor paper is just not heavy enough for what I'm looking for with my tags. So I'm going to set that one aside and show you the last one. So I really like the ombre effect of that one, almost a rainbowy, except for there's no blues or greens in it, but just the ombre, I guess, more effect. And then the green's completely different. And then this one was the first one I did, and it is even completely different. Because of course I need to get a purple one in there, right? So there is my purple one. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these dry. Um, and it's getting kind of late where I live, so I'm just going to let it dry overnight so that tomorrow um, I can come down with a fresh start and fresh ideas and um, start f pulling out papers and embellishments and all sorts of fun things just to make these tags more beautiful. So thanks so much for stopping by today, and I'll be back soon. Bye. Hello everybody, this is Sherry and I am back and I'm going to tell you this is the second time I have shot this part of the video because the first time I actually finished up one of my tags on video and it made the video so long I didn't want to do that again. So instead I'm just going to show you some of the products I use and then show you the finished project and then we'll talk about it just a little bit. It'll be a lot faster. The best part was the watercoloring at the beginning. So. I used a bunch of products to finish these up. I have these cute little flowers here, and I don't know where they came from. I think they were a gift, and I'm not even sure they were ever marked. They may be Prima flowers, but I'm really not sure, but I used some of those. I used um, tea dye and Dusty Conquer Distress inks. I have these fun little doilies, and these are from an Etsy store called Owl and Thistle. And um, these are actually the French doilies, and I think they are... Not sure, maybe three or four inch. I'm not sure what size they are. So I used those. Um, I had these two packs that I had just picked up at Joann's a long time ago, and I think I even picked them up on clearance. These are from Colorbox, and they're two different die cut accent packs. One's called, I think it's this one, is called Die Cut Accents 
die cut accents and this one is called die cut journaling accents and so they were just some really fun um, tags and stuff the paper pack that I used for the back of my um, tags and for some of the other stuff um, was this secret garden 8x8 pack by graphic 45 so let me set that aside and I hope it doesn't crash because I have a big mess here but this is the first one and I will also show you that, of course, I use some of the gorgeous Three Girl Jam ribbon. This one is Coral um, from the Caribbean um, stack. And then this is just Antique White. And this is from the Pink and White stack. Love this Antique White. In fact, I thought I was almost out, but I found a, a whole one that I had. So I was really glad. And then these flowers on this particular one are from... Um, Prima and it's from when I didn't leave set out and then these little brads I put in the middle are um, the yellow brads and they are from Fancy Pants and what I did is I um, chose yellow because the top how it gradiates into the yellow and I wanted to pull that color back down so I just put them on, the, on through the flower put the flowers together with them and then I glued it all down with glossy accents. Now I have some string, and this string is just something that I bought by the yard, and or the foot or something at a local scrapbooking store um, that used to be near me. That I think I got it at one that's since gone out of business. And I just kind of bunched it up and put that on the bottom, glued it down, and then I took some of those doilies and kind of cut them up and put them at angles. And then this is one of the journaling cards, and I cut that in half. And um, then the leaf on this one, um, it was actually a leaf from a Studio or yeah, a Studio G pack that I had. And I'm not even sure if it was supposed to be a leaf or a flower, but it was the right color for a leaf. And so I cut it and put it in there. And then this was just this little tiny scrap of Three Girl Jam. And this is um, Goblin Green. And it was the right color. And it was just this little scrap laid on my desk that would you would normally just toss. It was so tiny. But I thought, oh, that'll look like a leaf. So I put that down. And so you see my calm word here and then the um, watercolor in here and then on the back this is some of that um, paper and then I inked around the edges both front and back with the tea dye I believe if that's not right I'll let you know but also if you go to my blog I'll have a, a list of the products that I used so that's the first one um, this next one is the green one and I really like the way this one turned out now this is this bird was from one of those die cut accent packs as was this uh, journaling tag we've got more doily here and more of that um, string or twine or whatever it is and then again we've got the goblin green which is it ties in more with the darker colors in here and then more of that antique white and also this little tag here was um, antique white it, I just tied a little knot in it to give some more ribbon now the little bird like I said was from those die cut packs and I popped him up on little tiny foam squares just to give him a little bit of extra dimension and then the back again paper from that um, secret garden stack so then we'll move on to the last one and I'm really having a hard time choosing my favorite um, because I like them all but this one is of course my favorite color and it is I just love this one so these uh, I use more doily a little bit more doily on this and kind of put a couple layers of that and then these papers here um, these little seed packets are actually part of that map uh, part of that stack from graphic 45 that I just cut out and put in there and then this bird I did something a little bit different I um, inked around it with dusty conquered ink before I put it down so that I could tie the purple back in because remember if you remember the bird on the green um, tag he has a lot of kind of blue green inside of his feathers and so I wanted to tie the purple back in so I inked around it with purple and then I glued my flowers down when I was all done and I'm kind of skipping ahead um, but I glued the flowers down at the end because when I was all done I felt like it just needed a little something else so that's where those little flowers came in and I inked all the way around the edges with the dusty Concord now this particular green this is the aqua from the um, three girl jam Caribbean pack as well and then this one is iris 
from the spring flowers pack and I know the aqua well I like purple and green together anyway but the reason I chose the aqua on this tag when I normally wouldn't is because it was almost a perfect match for the birds feathers and um, it just I really like the way that ties it all back into each other and then on the back is a different color of the paper from the Secret Garden collection. And again, I just use the 8x8. Now, this is kind of um, coming up a little bit. I may go back and stick those down, or I may decide I like it kind of almost distressed looking like that. So those are my three tags. And at the um, right after the video and after the pictures, I will remind you of who's next behind me and I also want you to remember that you want to hop along and also we're really encouraging you to go to each of our sponsors Facebook pages and um, like their Facebook page we are um, we have some great sponsors this time um, I'm actually from close to my heart sponsoring a paper pack but there are some other really great prizes so um, you should be able, as you go along, you'll find links to their different Facebook pages. And go and like them and, and just tell them about seeing them on this YouTube hop. Um, and so um, go to each designer's. They've got some great gifts as, or great um, projects going on. And this is just really our fun second hop. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.